I, I would, it is crazy because like your parents can't prepare you for everything. Right. Like a bad handed. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. There's no way you can prepare for a bad hand job. You just. You and know. you know what? It'd be even weirder if your parents had prepared you. For yeah, that. that would. It'd be like, I know, at some point. <laughs> might get if a that was the talk. Right. They gave now, you, you. got to be sure to tell them how much pressure to apply. I've had one where she was just treating it like a stress reliever. Like, it's just squeezing and yanking at the same time. It's like, no, no, you got you to gotta pick one. You, yeah. don't, you don't squeeze and yank. You squeeze a little bit and then, you know, stroke. But she was, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's no, not silly, putty, baby no, girl. No, no. That's she, a test to me. She's she, you gotta be more gentle. Yeah, she's, I was chafed around she, the bottom, the base of my shaft it, was chafed. She's treating it like a, a cat scratch tower. Yes, you're like you gotta show some more love. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Wording is Harder. I am your host to hear more, and today we have the amazing comedian, writer, stand-up wizard, wizard on the stage, wizard. man, Mr. Dustin Nickerson. His words, show me a more important K. In history. In history. You got to nail that K, Nickerson. Yep. <laughs> Stick it like Simone. You got to land it. You got to... Stick it like Simone! <laughs> You can't, you have to have confidence. <laughs> Just. Yes. And any time they miss it, and then I come on the stage. Yes. If they don't hit the K, and like, they're welcome to the stage, Justin. What did they say? And then I walk up. It's nobody It's knows. pandemonium. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, yeah, pandemonium. Yeah. It's a whole lot of mumble. Like, a lot of that. You're like, guys, guys, it's, it's a K there. He just can't speak. Yeah. Just I would ever never heard of him. want to introduce you on stage consistently. I would mess it up. Probably on purpose. You would. Yeah. You would do that. Yeah. I, I trust you. But. Yeah. And you but would, you love, would do it on purpose yeah. to, to put me out. Yeah, I'm like, all right, man. You ready to crawl out of the hole? <laughs> <laughs> well, the most viewed thing I've ever done was the last uh, Keep Your Distance. Keep your distance. Yes. And it started with me making fun of you. So My I thighs was out. Yeah. yeah. My thigh was out. He's like, you are a big man. <laughs> I didn't intend on it, but I was just so taken aback, you know, like... When you like, it was like the smell of gasoline. It just, <laughs> I couldn't. It just messed up my bearings. <laughs> the it, smell of gasoline, yeah, like, <laughs> is a great example for how you get taken aback. Oh, <laughs> you feel like well, you have to is. say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm confident though. Oh, no lack of confidence. No, what's up? Uh, celebrate it. Yeah, man. You, I mean, you gotta listen. Like you said, you gotta. Embrace who you are. What I, makes you feel good on stage? You can't uh, have half confidence on a mustache. You cannot. Not you gotta that own one. that. Unless you hide the rest of the half yeah, under the mustache. Exactly. And you can't. You especially have to be have a confident mustache if you're gonna be in like a school like setting like this. Yes. Which I feel very uncomfortable with. You should because that like mustache to, makes yeah. a lot of kids. In you the school don't like to think mustache and small children. No, That's no, no, not no. Emerging. If you were a teacher, they would make you cut that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Unless I was the PE yeah. teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then you gotta wear the shorts that I wear. Yeah. You gotta wear the short shorts and be like, all right, bring it in. It does work with a whistle. Yeah. And a clipboard. That works surprisingly. You should just like dress one day like that walk around with the clipboard yeah. and the whistle and just blow and see if people respond to you absolutely well uh, take a lap let's go oh, yeah, I don't even, <laughs> well, don't even yeah, know why like, I'm just here for pins bro but they would know. do it <laughs> let's go let's go let's Little go let's go watch. hot knees hot knees hot knees <laughs> <laughs> just I'm, I'm off the rails I'm we sorry. have five rounds today um, everything from Pronouncing words correctly mm -hmm. to spelling words to mm -hmm. which one doesn't apply or which one is different. Right. Uh, Maya's back here to keep us on task. She's the instructor. She's gonna let us know if we're incorrect or we're correct or if we're getting too far on base and then mm -hmm. pull it back in. Then we have a bonus round, but that's later on in the, in the episode. Extra the credit. Episode. Yeah, a little extra credit. So we're gonna get this thing started. Um, we're round one. Pronounce this word. F O R. T E, forte. Correct. It's my forte. That is correct. That here. is correct. Uh, what does it mean? My forte. It's my prerogative. I can do what I want. It's kind of my thing. I made it my own. It's my forte. It's my. 
it's, it's, the, it's the way I do things. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's the, it's the way it's, uh, it's my Ooh, prerogative. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's my styling. It's, it's in general my regiment. It's, it's, it's ina inaccurate. But. That is not. That's not correct. Yeah. You are close. What is it? It's something at which you excel. Yeah, your strengths, right? Uh. I don't like the way this episode is gonna go. <laughs> I've never, never had my pony be like, no, stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, I've watched the show uh, on the drive up before that. I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't keep tabs on your work, but uh, it. <laughs> that's a pretty. I feel like that's a softball forte. You know, it gets more difficult. I know, I know. It's. Uh, I got half a point. Kind of, you yeah. give him, but he, maybe he was kind of in the realm of correct. Yeah, it's though, okay. Right? It's yeah. okay. I, no? I take my I ills. I take, take my yeah. Because okay. even if she tried to, Tony's punk ass would be like, no, we can't give him that. <laughs> you gotta take joy in it down of being the fucking judge, jury, executioner over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, I just, I just take it. I take it. You know, I got half credit. He needs that. Yeah, you know, yeah. he mostly just personifies animals all day. Yeah. So no, not, needs... not that Tony. This Tony. Oh, this <laughs> Tony. Okay, I thought, yeah, yeah. That's, that sounded like Tony Baker to uh, me. Tony, in my mind. Yeah. What's up, Pete? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in the community. Shut up. <laughs> take your old ass in the house, Tony Baker. Huh? Walking around. I feel like this might all be a trap. Um, the, the you spell the word B L A C K G U A R D, which phonetically, I would read as black guard. But I feel like this is a trap in so many ways. I feel like this is a trap in the pronunciation of the word. I feel I didn't pick these words. I, I, didn't, I don't I didn't. like. I don't like any of this. I don't like it for you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do this. I'm trying to think. Is this? Is it? Uh, uh, is there some other way to say this? It could be a silent B and L. A B and an L. Uh, Ack guard. <laughs> that Ack guard sounds like a dental like product, <laughs> right? <laughs> or is a planet close? I'm gonna just go that this is a fastball down the middle. Black guard. That is incorrect. I mean, what, black guard. No. The Hoard? K is silent. The K is silent. Oh. Bl Blaggard. 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 Mm. Which. I kind of feel like there was a silent. Blaggard ball. sounds like a, a racial slur. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Look at all these blaggards in right. here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Blaggard salmon night? I'm, I'm, I, I'm glad I didn't say that word correctly. I don't. I don't feel good about any of it. I feel like I feel like this word, whatever it means, has some bad roots. You think so? I don't know, but Flip I don't it feel, over. Okay. Let's see. The reason I think that it sounds uh, like has a negative connotation is it reminds me of the word like sluggard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like so maybe it's like an insult, but it also could just. I have no idea. <laughs> is it is it a is it a French perfume? I have no idea what this word means. I'm gonna go with French perfume. That is incorrect. I mean, how amazing would it have been if it was correct, though? <laughs> what is... It's an old English word. It comes from the male servant of a household or kitchen, and it means a rude or dishonest man. I was right. I was in the... Okay. I mean, what I, 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 I was right that it had a negative, negative connotation, connotation to yeah, it. Yeah. All right. I'm, I yeah, get you no, gotta trust yourself more. I get no points for that. I can't yeah, trust yeah, myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's summertime, you know what I'm saying? It's summertime and we outside, we are barbecuing, we ain't going to the grocery store, we ain't waiting in no lines, you know why? Because we going with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. You know what that means? That means the groceries are coming to your front door. No more reusable bags, no more waiting in long lines at checkout, trying to see if you should stay in this line or go to the other line. Listen, we, we pass all of that, okay? This summer, HelloFresh has everything you need to get grilling, from grilling bundles to burger packs, surf and turf packs, and more means less shopping and more sizzling. That's what I'm all about. Let's just queue it up. 
Light the grill. Get the charcoal going. Let's get it grilling. You know what I'm talking about? And you save more money this way, okay? You get a better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. If you could save money and get the same quality, what you waiting on? Hmm? Answer that for you, boy. What, what are you waiting on? Absolutely nothing, because you ain't got nothing to answer that. Listen, I want to hook y'all up right now. So listen, go to HelloFresh.com slash Wording14 and use the code Wording14 for up to 14 free meals and free shipping. Who else is hooking y'all up like that? No one. You ain't got no answer because ain't nobody else doing that. Ain't nobody else looking out for y'all like that. So again, go to HelloFresh.com slash Wording14 and use the code Wording14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Do it now. Find out why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. You won't regret it. I'll let you, boy. Which of these sentences is correct? A, she put a carrot to indicate the change. Uh, B, she put a carrot to indicate the change. Uh, in the two sentences, the word carrot is spelled different. A has C-A-R-E-T, B has C-A-R-A-T. Uh, and I'm going to go with, uh, I haven't spelled carrot in a while. <laughs> like the vegetable or the ring quality of the diamond. Um, so it's a toss up at this point. I, so based on that. You know, if we 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 are in the matrix, somebody definitely just bumped the computer. I, <laughs> I was like, God damn, man. I thought uh, you had a concussion for a second there. I thought you sounded like when your CD used to skip. This is a remix. Yeah. This is a remix. I'm going to go with B. C-A-R-A-T. That is incorrect. Of course it is. Course it is. <laughs> uh, and I knew that. All right. uh, what is the difference between carrot and carrot? Um... Well, one is the clarity of uh, the diamond uh, of something, and the other is a, uh, it's a vegetable. No, that's a different kind of carrot completely. <laughs> oh, that's why that didn't look right. <laughs> yeah, that one has two R's, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, shit. I think it starts with an, yeah. Oh, yeah, the other one is a, has no. an O? At the yeah, the O, right? right? Yeah. yeah, there's the, an O the, in there, there yeah. somewhere. I, I, I saw those words, and I just got, I got, I got confused, I got nervous, all right? yeah. and I panicked. Right? Oh, man. Uh, That's my natural state. So yeah, I I don't know what the other one is. What's the other carrot? So you've passed. Yeah, I passed. It's a little mark that indicates a change. It looks like this. Oh no, that's a that's a bird. <laughs> that's that's how you draw birds. I know what that is the beak. Yeah. That's, don't come in here so condescending. That's a that's a seagull over oh, a sunset. Oh man, care. I didn't I didn't know that. I've never heard anybody refer to it as that. Okay, good to know. Learn the stuff on the show mm -hmm. that I'm not gonna use. I'm 37. <laughs> I'm 37. I'm not learning no. a whole lot of new words unless it has to deal with my money. Yeah. Yeah. That's when it. are you gonna write? Are you gonna write that in a script? Oh what? Like oh, you guys didn't see that carrot there? <laughs> I mean, if you said that, even the context of it correctly, nobody would understand. Nobody, no, unless they're like a, a literary major or right, you know, right. a writer or something like that. Yeah, no, they don't care. I agree. Showtime, man. Shit. <laughs> All right, my turn. Mm-hmm. I'm also nervous, by the way. I'm very sweaty during this because I I look smart. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. I I come the, across the first part of that statement was. I kind of felt like it was kind of subjective. <laughs> you don't agree. <laughs> kind of. I think that people maybe maybe more pre stash because the they stash. See, yeah, shade. they see the glasses. They're like, oh, big glasses, big nerd. Right, 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 right. right. Which I do have some of the nerdy aspects to my personality, mm -hmm. but not the good grades. I, I mean, I wasn't a bad student. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to college. Let's you know, let's keep this within community counts. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> you can just sign up and go. It's amazing. <laughs> But 
How'd you get in? I just filled out a piece of paper. It was unbelievable. It was so it was great. Uh, I'm texting going in to make a U-turn. They was like, yeah, come on in. They yeah. was like, all right. You're late food. for class. I'm sorry, like, what? <laughs> I guess I go here now. But I do feel like having glasses and like being bad at math is like being tall and being ah, bad at basketball. Yes. People are pretty disappointed. In yeah, that, absolutely. Know, they have Immediately. Ideas. All right, so with that in mind, which of these sentences is correct? A, the crowd gave their assent with roaring applause, mm. spelt A-S-C-E-N-T, mm. or B, the crowd gave their assent, mm. spelt A-S-S-E-N-T, with roaring applause. Mm. I think this is A, because I don't know that B is a word, and if it is a word, I've never seen it, that reads as assent, which seems like a type of barbecue. <laughs> like, are you gonna have the brisket or the assent? <laughs> that, that's what that looks like to me. St. Louis, you can verify, right? That's not a piece that we could. I know, but it looks like <laughs> it's not a piece that we. You gotta go like you gotta go like Louisiana and get. Yeah. Dude, That's a little St. Louis is known yeah. for the ribs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Louisiana is known for the, the asset. Yeah, that's something different. So it's not really one of the cuts we. All prefer. right, can I get some collard greens and some assets? <laughs> Some mashed potatoes. That's some mac and cheese. You yeah. gotta have the mac and cheese. Where we go? Uh, so I'm gonna go with A. Ascent. That is incorrect. All right. Yeah, I just kind of played it up with you. You really never you, seen it? No. What, what is that? I can't give it to you. Say it the guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what is the difference between ascent? I I don't. I'm not confident on even the word that I recognize <laughs> with its meaning. I feel like ascent is like uh, approval, right? But I'm thinking like ascension. Which means? Which, you know, means to rise, mm -hmm. right? Ascension. So that's, they gave their, that that's that, right? Ascent, right? Like, no? Well, okay. Approval, rise, something? I, I'm saying two wildly different things. Two no. <laughs> wildly different things. You no, you know, got, like Coca-Cola. It's like water. Oh, did I get them both? You actually got that right. Ascent to climb right. a mountain. Right. With a C. Yeah. And ascent is a loud expression of approval or okay, agreement. Okay, so I did get both of their words right. I just didn't realize that that's how you spelled mm -hmm. assent exactly. to give approval. Got you. Okay. So you gotta have credit. I guess it was one of those things where I, you know how you have a, a word there, you're like, it can kind of mean a bunch of different things. Yeah. I thought there was one spelling of assent. Yeah. And then okay. we were like, all right. Yeah. I said that. This is a stupid language. English, man. It's I'm a dumb to tell language. People. Fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> 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 uh, like, fucking you dumb, failed bro. a test and said that to a teacher. <laughs> this is dumb, Look right? at this. 60, you failed. It's fucking dumb, man. <laughs> it's fucking English, man. <laughs> All right. Um, which of these three is not a synonym? A, adopt. B, spurn. C, select. All right. Um... I don't know what the fuck spurn is. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna jump out and just and just display my ignorance on uh, full level. Don't know what spurn is. Don't think I've ever heard it in the census. I know what adopt means and select. If you adopt something, um, you accept it or you, you change or you take it in. And to select something is to choose as well. So I'm gonna say spurn is the odd man out. That is correct. Yeah. Really well done. Thank you. What is the difference? What is different about this one? Um, I mean, just based on that, maybe spurn means to turn away or reject. Exactly. It means to reject. Oh, shit. Check that out. Process of motherfucking elimination. <laughs> <laughs> Look who loves English all of a sudden. <laughs> It's a beautiful language. It's so easy to understand. It's really the language of the gods. If you think about it, you think about it, most Bibles are in English. Most Bibles are in English. <laughs> Definitely didn't start that way, but hey, what are we, what are we talking? Some magics here? I mean, if Jesus spoke English. I mean, come on. You know. It so you're so telling me they didn't speak English in Jerusalem? Come on, guys. <laughs> huh? Pronouns, nouns, huh? First nouns, century huh? Jew definitely spoke <laughs> Absolutely. No doubt about Why it. Why would they speak? He, he loved it so much. Now. He loved it so much, he spoke it in red. <laughs> he, spoke. he was like, I like this, but also in red. He, yeah, he highlighted his own words. <laughs> they need to know what I'm talking. Yeah. 
I, th I feel like when Jesus' letter is getting read, there's got to be at least a little bit of the, the Spirit and the Father like, all right, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Really? Down. I mean, we all wrote the whole book. <laughs> you... but, I mean, they did, but Jesus also let us homies get on. That's true. You know, Jesus, he yeah, Jesus got, got to let, let a couple he of the homies Judas get lines. books. He was that good of a friend, he gave Judas lines. And he knew he was going to play them. Yeah. It's got real. Bible talk. <laughs> it's a new show. We're just sorry. breaking down the Bible in real ways. Like, Judas was I'm a sorry. bitch. <laughs> you knew Judas was a bitch. Yeah. And he still let him hang what around. What if Jesus was petty? Like, what if Jesus, like, the last thing that he said to him was like, hey, man, hang in there. Because, you know, Jesus hung himself. Or Judas yeah. hung himself. Yeah. I mean, what if he, like, just played him like that? I don't know. This is off the rails. Now, I'm, I'm an ADD nightmare on these type of things. I'm sorry. For some silver? <laughs> not even gold. Not even gold? You didn't even betray me for you second gold. place, bitch! <laughs> you betrayed me for a pawn shop, essentially. Basically. <laughs> you, Basically got... you, you betrayed me for a second place Olympics medal. Yeah. How does that yeah. make you feel? Amazing. Okay. Which of these is not a synonym? A... Don't know what this word is. Uh, aggrandize? Aggrandize. I would have gotten to it. <laughs> Dang. No, you wouldn't. Have. I was processing. <laughs> aggrandize, yeah. as I was about to say. Uh, B, belittle. And C, glorify. Well, uh, I know what I'm. I know what belittle and glorify mean, mm -hmm. and those are opposites. Mm -hmm. And aggrandize sounds like glorifying. So I would say the B, belittle, is not a synonym. Correct. Process of motherfucking elimination, yeah. baby. Yeah, Okay. And why is this one different? Because uh, it's, uh, it's the opposite. Belittle means to talk down to someone, mm -hmm. to shame them, and to aggrandize and to glorify would be the opposite, to lift them up. Mm -hmm. Speaking of God, yeah, <laughs> that was just yeah, I just roll right into it. I, mean, I used, to, even be, I used that. to be a pastor. Yeah, you know, I can. And this is why there we go. Art imitates life because you couldn't have planned it. Jesus, that was great. Yeah. You almost decapitated. Him, but <laughs> if that had been a symbol or yeah, I hope <laughs> you guys. Star? Hopefully, you guys can get that as the thumbnail. <laughs> I mean, that's a solid. That was really Thumbnail good. Right there, yeah. I want, you could, I couldn't pay you to do that again. I was gonna try it with more. Like, yeah. oh, this will be my thing. Yeah. I'll be the throw the cart, and I'll never top that. <laughs> you never will. No, 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 no. Yeah. If I do, it'll be a big. You gotta know. You gotta know when to get off stage, man. People trying to go out too big. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tahir Moore, and I want you to know that this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. I also want you to know that you don't have to sit in silence. If you feel like there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I definitely want you to check out BetterHelp, okay? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match it with your own licensed professional therapist in under 48 hours. Now, I have to be very clear about this. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, all right? It's not a self-help line. It is professional therapy done securely online. And there's a broad range of expertise which are available which may not be locally available in many areas the service is available worldwide that means that you can log in at any time and talk to your counselor and you will get a timely and thoughtful response listen i know exactly what i'm talking about because i have been in therapy for three years all right it was not easy to break down the walls and the barriers that i had put up but once i started talking to a professional someone that was unbiased someone that really listened to my needs and my fears and everything that i had going on it became so much easier to open up BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed which is very 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 big because even though i've been in therapy for three years it wasn't until the last year and a half that i really started to see those changes because i had to change therapists all right and with change of therapists on traditional on offline therapy it could take three weeks sometimes it could take two months better help will assist you in getting a therapist if needed immediately all right which is super duper big I don't want you guys to sit back in silence. I want you to check out BetterHelp. I want you to go online. I want you to read the testimonials that are posted daily. You can watch 
uh, read those at betterhelp.com slash reviews. Now, to all my listeners out there, if you guys are ready to take charge of your happiness, ready to take charge of your life, you're ready to invest in your mental health, I want you guys to get some help right now at betterhelp.com slash wording. And we're going to give you 10% off your first month. That's right. 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com dot com slash wording w o r d i n g again betterhelp dot com slash wording for ten percent off your first month. Peace. Find the odd man out. Two of these come from the same origin. One does not. Lie, l i e to recline. B is lie, l i e to tell a falsehood. And C is outlier. Now. Common sense should be abandoned in all of these situations because mm-hmm. you want to say lie, lie. The same thing. That's, that's stupid. Don't right. do that. Don't right. ever go with common sense on this show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with B as the as the uh, the one that does not come from the origin, and A and C do. Correct. Thank you. Crushed it. I'll be here all the next two hours. <laughs> uh, what do you think these two words have in common? Credit if your answer makes any sense. <laughs> That's how little Man, you they ins- believe in they me. Insult you. She insults you on the card. On the card. This, if it makes any sense. If, hey, credo. Remotely, we could connect any dots. Yeah. Okay. If um, in any way you sound like an intelligible human being, yes. we'll give you a point. So to lie, like recline, lie down, an outlier, um, I mean, outlier, like to be on the outside, the, to lay on the outside. Like if you, you outlined the house with, I know that's not what that means in this sense, but it, back back then, I don't know if they, the origin was like to outline the house with a, a fence or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the outside of the perimeter, you're still laying down on the perimeter, laying something down on the outside. As, as like similar to lie down when you go in the house. That's the outline of this whole goddamn acre with this fence and I'm gonna go in here and lie down. Both of them putting them down. That's correct. I'll take it! That's actually correct. You goddamn right it is correct! Even when you're right, she's mean. That's she's, actually was, correct. That's actually, fuck. I didn't think this, <laughs> this motherfucker actually pulled it off. Shit. All right, well, fuck, I gotta give him a point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, find the odd man out. Two mm-hmm. of these come from the same origin. Was one does oh man? I'm you want to try again? Yeah, no. I Good. want everyone to see me struggle on reading the explanatory <laughs> sentence. One does not. A mathematics. Uh, B aftermath. C. Uh, this looks like you just forgot a couple letters in the word tomorrow. But to mo, which. Is that is that a freight? Am I is that Timo. a freight? Timo? 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 Oh, you mean the the action? Okay. Timo the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm reading in into it too much. I'm like, Timo. <laughs> okay. Well. Common sense would say Tom, but. that aftermath and mathematics mm-hmm. would go together. Yeah. And that mowing the lawn mm-hmm. would have absolutely nothing to do with, with any either of one that. of those. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that would mean that aftermath or mathematics would somehow connect. But I don't know what. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that B is the odd man out. The aftermath is the odd man out. No, it's A. That okay. So I was in the right line of thinking there. That that it wasn't A and B related, but aftermath and. To Mo are related. I don't know how that works, but I'm glad it wasn't mine. What do you think of the? Uh, what do you think these two words have in common? Credit if your answer makes any sense. I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> well, aftermath. I mean, that's you know after the fact, after something happening. Maybe mowing is because it's after the grass grows. That's mm. what you do. It's it's after the fact. Mm. 
It's not it, the growth, it's the, yeah, it's what you do later. Yeah, that makes some sense. Let's go! I feel like that was a fuck. That's the best you can get out that of that. That was a fucking... <laughs> 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 Goodness gracious! <laughs> Woo! All this right. particular math and aftermath comes from the Old English mail. I did not pronounce that right, and that means to mow. Oh, man. He definitely wasn't gonna get that one. Alright, spell the word that Maya gives you. To hear your word T -A -H -I -R. is... T-A-H-I-R. <laughs> mow. <laughs> Girasol. You say what now? Girasol. Girasol. Mm hmm. Girasol. I don't even know. That is definitely a trademark ointment. <laughs> Girasol is something you gotta get at CVS and you're embarrassed by it. Girasol? Girasol, you put in your cart and then you put a bunch of other stuff on top of the cart. So nobody sees it. So, so nobody you pull sees it. Out it. You, you got to the... X. You got. Yeah. And yeah. you got to get off brand. To the yeah. Cheers, all. All right. Um... <laughs> Cheers, all. G E R A S A L A I L. Yourself. No, that would be yourself. No, G E R A S A L. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. With the last A L. Yep. Girasol. That is incorrect. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely it is. But you got the G right. Yeah. I knew it wasn't going to be a J because that would have been common sense, so I threw that away. What is it and how do you spell it first? It's G I R A S O L. Still stupid. Yeah. What is it, and and why would you buy one? Why would you buy one? It, it sounds like ointment. It, yeah. it sounds like something you would buy when you can't sit down correctly because hemorrhoids have invaded your space. <laughs> no. Nope. Cool. Didn't care. It's an opal that reflects light. I don't know what the fuck an opal. I don't know what an opal. It's a stone. Is. You don't, you, you're it's explaining. Stone? Yeah. Is that like a diamond like or a like crystal? A like crystal. Like a crystal. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. It sounds like something that my people are into. <laughs> Honestly, it's <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's your turn. Spell the word that you give me. Here we go. Dustin, your word is xylophone. Xylophone. X Y P H. I know that far. I can see it. I know it's the X X Y P Xy X Y P H. L. How does it end? There's got to be a vowel next. A. P. H. O. N. E. No. You thought that. You the, thought that. The P. H. Was before what, the. No, Zyla. I got. I, I, I blacked out Luh. halfway through the word. Zyla. Zyla. Uh, X. You threw that L oh, in no. there wherever the fuck you wanted to. You was like. Y L. What did I say? I forgot. Not that. I totally blanked you didn't out. Didn't say that. Oh, so I... you spelled xyphlophone. Okay, I mixed it up early. It happens sometimes. It happens. I was so confident with that first part. Man, X Y, -Y what did I say? H. What did I say? X Y P H. -L -A. Oh, it was the X Y L. I yeah. Yeah, I'm thankful. I mean, you know, it helps me, but I'd have gotten shit. It. yeah a little more focus. You're watching would, a couple kids. Would you have hit that? Would you have hit xylophone? I would have got the L right. X Y, but yeah. then it's a blur. That's what it was. Is I knew I am because I, I got it before you told me. I knew the L was there, but I was so focused beyond mm -hmm. the L. Xylophone. You know what it was. You know when you see a receiver drop the ball before you because he ah, starts running. I don't, I don't know sports. I don't know sports. Okay, well, there's it's called football. <laughs> a lot of time a receiver he he drops the ball because he started running downfield before he caught it. Got it. Okay. I dropped. I started running downfield. <laughs> You sort of sound like, you know what a receiver, ah. Yeah. <laughs> tennis? Tennis? Uh, <laughs> but I know what it is. It's a, it's a percussion, or it's an instrument. You know, you play it with the little things. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, like things. A, it's like a piano, only you use little mallets, little mm -hmm. drumsticks. That's in jazz band, I know yeah. some things. That's correct. Yeah. You still would have spelled it wrong because it's X-Y-L-O. All right, now you are the meanest person I've ever met. <laughs> I know I got it wrong. 
I took the L. She just listen. She had to say it for continuity. We said she, you know, she got to give the correct. You make spelling me glad it. my mom wasn't around. <laughs> I mean, you're, like, you're mean. You were mean. <laughs> it's X Y L O P H O N E. Mm-hmm. So you were. I, I, I almost doubled the letter count. Yeah. <laughs> that is, and that's a skill. It's not everybody can do that. I not love, can do I love that. words so much. I'm like, let's make them longer. <laughs> let's just stretch this out. So now we have the bonus round where Maya will give us two cards to choose from. I'll let you pull it first, and then you're just going to keep it face down, okay. and then I'll actually go first. Okay. All right. So grab this. Mm-hmm. Keep, it, keep it face down. Which uh, which just is just face just down. Put it like that. There you go. But there's mm-hmm. there's writing on both sides. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You go like that. And so um, the oh, card see. gives you the direction on what to right. do, and then you flip it over and you go for it. So I'll go first. Um, oh, this is I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Say this tongue twister <laughs> three times fast. You have ten seconds. Um, so this is one of the ones where I, I think I, I get credit for saying it correctly and then I can get more credit for saying it correctly in under 10 seconds. Yes, but you have to try to say it quickly. If you don't try, I won't give you the credit. That's fair. It's also fucked up, but it's really capitalizing on my handicap, it feels like, so. All right, well, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, here we go, three, two, one. Yuri Yasilov yelled, yield your yapping at Yoko Giannis. Yuri Yasilov yelled, yield your yapping at Yoko Giannis. Yuri Yasilov yelled, yield your yapping at Yoko Giannis. Correct in 12 seconds. Half credit. Half credit. And you did try. That's did pretty try. good. I, was, I listened. Yeah. I have sweat between my cheeks right Yeah. Now. Both sets. Yeah. No, that's, that's just candy. <laughs> Yeah. We keep a Jolly Rancher yeah. at all times. Hey, man. Never know. Never know. Okay. Say this tongue twister three times fast. You have ten seconds. Okay. And it starts from when I say you the first You flipped one. over the card. It's already I started. Didn't, what? I didn't... What? That's why I did the countdown. Let's, we, we let you go. It's not my we're, show. I don't know all the we're, rules. We'll let you go. We'll let you go. You we'll tell me when Thank to start you for the mercy. when yeah. you flip the card. <laughs> Jeez. You tell me when to start. Okay. When I flip the card, mm-hmm. you will hear the slap of. Oh, the, you can do the three, two, one. The count. Okay, down. three, two, one. Dirty dancer Darby drop dresses during a dramatic dance. Dirty dancer Darby drop dresses during a dramatic dance. Dirty dancer Darby drop dresses during a dramatic dance. Ooh, that Correct. last little part. Ah, no, no, no. That, that, that last little part, dresses. That last yeah, that dress is not dresses. Yeah, he said dresses. I heard. It, what is this? A democracy? I'll set. Wait, we, yeah, there's one judge. <laughs> One judge I'm just saying. who's been mean to me. Hey. She's mean to me. I this do four of these. You got one episode you have to deal with. She's mean to me when she I walked in. She just came. <laughs> I was like, good. That was oh a mustache. Gosh. That was mean. You know, you know that I mustache that. brings a little bit yeah. of that. A little bit. I was almost there. You were almost there. I did slip a little, but, I but not according desert. to you. I'm owning up to it, though. <laughs> You're like, okay, well. I just, you know what? It's what you think that matters, her holiness. <laughs> Your Honor, I don't know. This is I don't like the elevation of all of it. I feel very spoken down to, literally spoken down at. Uh, it's down here. Very condescending. You know how to spell that? Oh, that's not helping your case right now. <laughs> did you did you forget that you were? I'm laughing her out. Grace? I'm having a fit of rage. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> it's a bit of a Maya. So uh, tumultuous who, experience for me. So who, who won this one? He did not get it. Mm. This is somewhat of a democracy. Mm. You are tied. Excuse me, what now? You both got 60 because of dresses. Oh, gosh. Tony, why did you say something, man? <laughs> I heard it. I, I was, was going to fight clear. that. You were? Yeah, absolutely. I was going to fight. He dresses. 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 Yeah, I was going to fight that. And we don't get a lot of ties. Is there is there a tiebreaker? Are we I I don't mind being an equal with you. I don't, me neither. It feels I mean, good to me. If you want a tiebreaker, we could just do rock paper scissors. We wrestle. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I just, 
That was a very weird request to to solve a point. Ty, no. I don't know why it's the first thing that came to mind. That's some that's some flannel shit, man. That's some very flannel shit. I gotta shit. look like a wrestling coach. Yeah. You know, you just, I get that. What if it's a tearaway flannel? Clean the mats. Just... I don't want you getting ringworm out here. No. More, I need you down four pounds by tomorrow. Okay, coach. Yeah. You sleep in a garbage bag tonight. Just shit my brains out. (laughs) 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 Protein shakes and laxative mixed together. Just uh, pound it with a black cup of coffee. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this was a fun time, man. Good time. Thanks for having me. You know, thanks for coming up and having a good time with us, man. Um, Thank you for having me. You got anything coming up you want to tell the people about? Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of One Minute Harder. We'll see you next week.